Grill This, Smoke That is brought to you by Furtado Farms. For all your outdoor cooking needs, they're your premium source for cookwood. Whether it's pellets, chips, chunks, or logs, they've got you covered. Visit FurtadoFarms.ca for more info. Kettleman's Bagels is proud to support Grill This, Smoke That. Kettleman's, makers of wood-fired Montreal-style bagels using only premium ingredients. With three Ottawa locations, Kettleman's menu is available 24-7, 365 days a year. Grill This, Smoke That is generously supported by Oven Brothers, makers of handcrafted Canadian-made wood-burning outdoor ovens for inspired chefs. Visit us at ovenbrothers.ca. Oven Brothers, from our family's backyard to yours. I think the one big thing about PEI is the red soil of course. and potatoes. Hands down. Hands down. Uh, potatoes are like the crop that everybody knows from PEI. So I think it would be just really special if we did something with PEI potatoes. Absolutely. What are we doing with these potatoes? Wait, so what we're going to do is we are going to do scallop potatoes au gratin. Mm. Um, so we have a really good... Um, Sauce. I would say a really nice bechamel. Yes, thank you. With bechamel the, sauce. So what we did with the sauce is we essentially did a white sauce with flour, water, or sorry, with um, with flour and butter, and a little bit of whole milk, and we used the flour and the butter to actually thicken uh, the white sauce. And from the white sauce, we added these absolutely nice. incredible cheeses. Tell us about the cheeses from PEI. So what we use in the sauce is that we actually use the um, Gouda cheese that actually comes from Glasgow Glen Farm. And this farm is actually really, really special to me because I actually went there firsthand several years ago. And this man, Jeff McCord, he owns this farm and he specializes in 15 different types of Goudas. Wow. And, yeah, absolutely amazing. Seriously? Yeah. And, um, now, is this like a goat or Gouda or is it cow's milk or what milk is the Gouda made out of? You went to his farm, Bridget. Yes, I went to his farm. Were there cows or sheep? There, there was no animals. No on the animals. Farm. So it's a magical <laughs> cheese. <laughs> we'll call it cow's milk. Sure. God bless you. So, anyways, we've got this great okay. Gouda cheese. So, this particular Gouda cheese that we're actually being using today in the potato casserole is actually with their PEI stout beer. Yeah, literally here. Flavored with Pia Brewing um, Sydney Street Stout. Wow. It is absolutely delicious and you can just eat it on the Is that its what own. we've been yes. nibbling on? Absolutely. It's so good. It's creamy. You can. It's perfect for like grilled cheese. Um, actually, there's anything you want to use cheese with. And if you're going to be using a cheese, I always say if you're doing a sauce, use something with a big bold flavor like an extra old cheddar. Yes. Or, because it's not something that you're just nibbling on, even though that <clears throat> is incredible mm. as it is, but it's going into a sauce where it's going yeah. to be matched up with a whole bunch of different ingredients. So the stronger punch of a cheese incorporated into a sauce makes a lot more sense. So we added also a little bit of rosemary to this. Oh, we did. To, 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 to add to the phenomenal. overall dimension. Yeah. So... <clears throat> We took uh, a mandolin and we essentially cut our potatoes very, very thinly. If you wanted to arrange this in your pan uh, really, really, you know, beautifully and that, that, that's completely up to you. But I'm of the opinion that this is a, uh, a, a, a nice, comfortable, homey dish and, uh, you know, attention to extreme detail really doesn't apply in this case. If it's you want food. Yeah, absolutely. It, it, it's it's scalloped potatoes, you know. It's it's something that is delicious that we've all Oh, here we go. <laughs> we've been doing that all week. <laughs> yeah, the animals in in my part of the land are very very happy. So we've got our, our potatoes. We're going to dress that Excuse with a little bit of salt and pepper. And if you notice, uh, I'm putting on a liberal amount of pepper. I love pepper and also the salt is large grain kosher salt, sea salt from PEI. So essentially PEI on top of PEI on, on top, top of PEI. PEI. And more PEI. So good. It's so good. I'm gonna join it's you. It's really good. I'm gonna join oh, you. And I forgot to mention, mm -hmm. we also brought in for nibbles also their Bluda cheese, mm -hmm. which is their Bluda Gouda. They use their typical plain Gouda cheese with an essence of um, 
the, the, the bacteria that actually makes the cheese for the blue cheese. So it has a very, very subtle nuance, but it's very, very delicious as well. Artisan cooks and artisan fabricators on PEI always amaze me because they are so proficient in what they're doing and their food is always so fantastic. So we're probably going to take that cheese sauce and just dump it all mm -hmm. over, right? All over? You betcha. Give it a good dump. Oh my good lord. Mm. This is food porn right here. Oh, food porn. Now that goes with your writing handle, which is the food tease. Absolutely, you know? and absolutely. You, you also have a syndicated article in which magazine? So Lux Ottawa Magazine. Um, I have my column there. It's called the Bon Vivant. So it's all about everything that um, in, in essence really make people happy. Food, wine, travel, it all comes together and I write about my experiences, my adventures, and I hope that I entice someone, and tease for that matter, someone to actually want to do and experience the same thing that I did through awesome. my travels. Well, you're teasing us with this potato dish and all we have to do now is go to the grill. Well, our wonderful potato dish is going into the oven. We've set it for about 350 degrees. It's going to be in there for about an hour, just until the potatoes are nice and cooked and soft and the cheese is all golden brown. It's going to be special. So let's check our fire. It's looking great. Talk to you later. Today's tip is all about that rotisserie burner on the back of your gas grill that you've never used. Use it, it's a great tool. Set up a rotisserie basket in front of it, roast some chickens in there, use the rotisserie basket. Use the actual rotisserie rod that came with your grill. That rear rotisserie burner gives you lovely indirect heat. You put a drip pan underneath the food that you're cooking so that all the fat drips into that pan. And it's a godsend. It really is a great, efficient tool that a lot of people just don't take advantage of. Today's tip, use that rotisserie rear burner.